A Colorado woman is fighting to get back thousands of dollars after falling for a phone scam. After her pleas for help fell on deaf ears, she turned to contact Denver 7. CB Cotton has her story. It's frightening when you can't get them to believe you. Nancy Branchek just wants someone to help. I think I'm frustrated because I call. I've got all my documentation and it's like nobody's listening. Because as of Monday, she's still on the hook for $10,000. I'm not paying this money. I didn't charge it. For Branchek, it all started with an unexpected phone call back in December. This guy said his name is Peter and he works for the fraud department at Bank of America and they noticed that somebody tried to charge $7,000 to VRBO on our credit card. He knew everything about me. I gave no information. The caller told her in order to get the charges removed, she'd need to share the two codes sent to her phone, which would give the caller access to her account. So Baranchek gave the codes and thought the problem was resolved until she called Bank of America to verify the whole ordeal. And that's when a rep told her. I don't show that anybody from our company called you and it wasn't 7,000 to BRBO, it was 10,000 to Airbnb. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I knew right then and there that something bad happened. She had been scammed. The fraudulent charges placed on her AAA credit card. So she disputed the claim and thought she was in the clear. But over the past month, when the card's issuer changed, she was told in this letter the $10,000 was hers to pay. We're living paycheck to paycheck like most people. We're retired. I wouldn't spend $10,000 on a rental. The Better Business Bureau tells Denver 7, Baranchek isn't the only victim of this type of scam. If they have access to you and they ask you, hey, send me that code over just so that I can verify that it's you, they're actually trying to get into your account on the other end. It happened to Baranchek and now she's hoping someone can help. If I owed that $10,000, I would pay it. I'm, you know, and that's why I, I guess I'm telling people, be careful, but I was careful. Now, there are a couple of banks involved in this whole ordeal. Late this evening, a spokesperson for Bank of America told us they're looking into the matter and we're still waiting to hear back from U.S. Bank. When we know more on how Baranchek's case is going to be resolved, we'll be sure to provide those updates on air and online. CB Cotton, Denver 7. All right, CB.